As consumers, we're really sport for choice in the retro segment of the market, with pretty much every manufacturer having a retro in their lineup. And you could argue there is no more iconic word in the motorcycling world than Bonneville. It's a name that takes you back to a previous time that was more simple, engineering was more raw, and life was full of real characters. And I'm pleased to say that the new Bonneville T120 encompasses all of that, with just a little dose of modern sophistication. And just like the Moto Guzzi V7, the Triumph Bonneville T120 really is my kind of bike. In fact, I really didn't want to give it back. Okay, before we get into the specs, I need to say a big thanks to both Peter Stevens Imports and the awesome folk at Bike Biz Granville for supplying and preparing the bike for review. Bike Biz are a Triumph, BMW, Kawasaki and Honda dealer, so if you're interested in bikes from any of those brands, then head over to Bike Biz and have a chat to the guys there. With the new Bonneville T120, there are no changes from the 2021 model. So it's a Euro 5 compliant liquid cooled 1200cc parallel twin with a 270 degree crank that delivers 80 brake horsepower at 6550 RPM. The T120 has been specially tuned to deliver high torque from low down in the rev range all the way through to the mid range, which means you get 105 Nm of torque at 3500 RPM. The engine is connected to a fantastic six speed gearbox and a wet multi-plate torque assist clutch. It's got a tubular steel twin cradle frame, 41 mm cartridge forks, and twin shocks on the rear that are adjustable for preload. And as far as stock shock absorbers go, they do the job just fine. It's seven kilos lighter than the previous version, weighing in at 236 kilograms wet. So it's on the heavier side, but it doesn't feel too heavy when you're moving. And it's also got a 14 and a half litre fuel tank and a low seat height of 780 mil. The Bonneville T120 has new aluminium rims. On the front, there's an 18 inch rim. The brakes are higher spec'd. So it's a twin 310 mil disc setup, that was really hard to say, and a Brembo two piston sliding caliper. That'll do. <laughs> On the rear, there's a 17 inch rim with a single 255 mil disc and a Nissan two piston floating caliper. It of course has ABS as well as switchable traction control. The new T120 comes with more tech than the previous version, but it's not over the top. With cruise control now fitted as standard, along with two rider modes. It also has a USB charging socket and internal wiring that's ready for a set of heated grips. It also has a very good looking headlight with a distinctive LED daytime running light. The T120 is available in three colorways, a jet black single color option, or the choice of two twin color schemes, Cordovan Red and Silver Ice, and Cobalt Blue and Silver Ice, both of which feature hand-painted gold lines. The price for the Bonneville T120 is $21,100 for the base jet black model, and $21,650 for the two-tone versions. Okay, so grab a beer and take a seat because this is a long list. Let's start with the styling and looks. In my opinion, it looks brilliant. There are really nice touches with the Triumph logo on the handlebars, the seat, and the engine cases. It's got a really nice chrome mudguard stay on the front, and overall the quality is absolutely first class, and right up there with BMW in terms of finish. There is nothing on the T120 that looks out of place or cheap, with maybe the exception of that fuel cap. I really love the way they've integrated the master cylinder for the brakes into the right hand switch block. It's got a real old school vibe that I love. All of the switch gear is nicely done and simple to use. Now it does have a really good and usable suite of electronics, and it's got one of the most simple to use cruise control systems I've ever seen on a bike. Literally, just get up to speed and switch it on. Now that just makes perfect sense. It's got two rider modes, so there is no commute or track or rider programmable or custom mode 42. Instead, it's got the very obvious road mode for when you're riding on the road and rain mode for when you're riding on the road, but it's a little bit wet. Brilliant. The torque assist clutch means that riding in traffic is effortless because you don't have to have the strength of a fully grown gorilla to operate the clutch. The twin clocks are very nice indeed with the metal surround and really well designed and laid out instrumentation. There's a little LCD on both clocks but overall it looks old school and analogue. One of my favourite things about the T120 is the classic design of the P-Shooter exhausts. They not only look wonderful and are very much in keeping with the style, but more importantly, they sound fantastic. 
Easily one of the best stock exhausts on any bike in this category on the market. Now in the days of Euro 5 compliance, it has to be liquid cooled. And I think Kawasaki's design department should take some pointers from Triumph in this situation. Now I love the Z900 RS, but seriously, that radiator is just plain ugly when you compare it to how Triumph have integrated the radiator on the T120. It just blends in seamlessly to the point that at first glance, it looks like it's air cooled. The front brakes are excellent with really good feel and amazing stopping power. And to be honest, it was a bit of a surprise, but needed because this bike can really go. It has excellent fuel economy for a 1200cc bike. I got about 4.7 litres per 100 kilometres. And that combined with service intervals of 16,000 kilometres means that you do get a relatively low cost of ownership. It's a really comfortable bike to ride, either commuting or on a longer trip. The seat is really well padded, the foot pegs sit exactly in the right spot for me, and the reach to the bars is near on perfect. And that brings me to my favourite thing about the Bonneville T120, and that is the absolute peach of an engine with Triumph's high torque variant of the 1200cc twin. Seriously, for me, this bike has the near perfect power delivery and level of torque. I found the power delivery to be smooth and linear, no flat spots or twitchiness. There is ample power if you want to wind it up, but on the other hand, there is dollops of torque if you just want to cruise about. But don't be fooled, because under that charming let's have a cup of tea exterior is a modern bike that screams get me another double espresso. Okay, so what didn't I like about the Bonneville T120? Um, hmm, let me think about this. The fact that I had to give it back? Honestly, there are only two things that I could fault the T120 on, and both were pretty minor. First up, the back brake doesn't have as much bite as the front, but let's be honest, it's not alone in that regard, and the gear shift lever felt a little short. I never missed it, but I felt like I was shifting with the very edge of my boot. As I said, both very minor, and I could quite easily have left both off this list. Okay, so where does it sit on the Grin Factor scale? Well, as an out-and-out -out BMW fan, I've never really had that much time for Triumphs. It's probably a bias I picked up from my dad, who much preferred BSAs and Nortons and his beloved Panthers to Triumphs. Previous to this bike, the only other Triumphs I've ridden have been a T100, which felt a little bit meh, and a Speed Triple, which felt like I wanted to rip my arms off. So when I got the chance to ride the T120, it was a real surprise packet, and the more I rode it, the more I loved it. I reckon I was grinning from ear to ear, and as much as it pains me to say, the grin factor for the T120 is a 10. Yep, that's it, it's a 10. It's a really fun bike, and it doesn't matter if it's just a lazy cruise, a commute, or riding in a spirited fashion. The Bonneville T120 is a bike that I could easily live with. This is such a good bike, I really can't overstate that. It is so much better than the previous version on paper, and also much, much better than the T100. It would be really interesting to compare the T120 to the Speed Twin, because that also looks like it would be a great bike. Now I was really lucky that my time with the T120 coincided with the second annual Aussie Moto Content Creators Meetup. Got it. That was held at the Fuel Cafe in East Lynn, which is on the New South Wales South Coast, not far from Batemans Bay. So I threw on a backpack and it was off down the South Coast with Amber on her trusty Royal Enfield Continental GT. We got a bit of rain on the way down, but once we were there, the weather cleared up. We had a quick stop at the beautiful town of Berry for brunch, then it was back on the bikes to keep heading south to Fuel and East Lynn to meet up with the rest of the crew. If you're down that way, check out Fuel, because the owners not only have a great little cafe, but are in the process of setting up a cool little motorcycle museum. Now, it was really wonderful to get the chance to spend the day with friends and meet some new content creators who I'd met online but hadn't met in person. I also need to give a big shout out to the wonderful but absolutely mad Chris Keeble from the Aussie and the Indian for organising the event. Now I won't name all of the content creators here because this video would go on for another five minutes, but I will put a link to all their channels in the description. The event will be on again next year, no location locked in yet, but when it is, I'll definitely let you know. Amber and I and most of the others stayed in Batemans Bay that night, and the next morning when it was time to head off, we decided to head home via Braidwood on the Kings Highway, with a quick stop for lunch at the pub at Narraga, and then on through to Narra. We got to cover freeways, and B roads, and even some gravel, and I'm pleased to say that the Bonneville T120 was an absolute joy to ride in all of those conditions. 
there is plenty of power. It handles brilliantly and it looks stylish. This is another bike that really is my kind of bike. It's stylish and it's dapper and it's got that Bonneville name that is just so iconic in the motorcycling industry. What's not to love? Let me know what you think of the Bonneville T120. Is it a bike you'd consider buying or do you have another bike in mind if you're in the market for a retro? If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Our online store is live, so if you want to pick up a Grin Factor t-shirt or a Biker Talk cap, then go over there and check it out. We've also just signed off on the design of a long sleeve t-shirt, especially for you, Big Bert. That's all for today. Till next time, stay safe and enjoy your next pie run.